Hey guys, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to make a book cover in Photoshop. I will be speaking slightly faster than usual because it is a long tutorial and we have to get through it. Also, it's going to require quite a lot of concentration. It's a bit, a bit more advanced than my other tutorials. So to start off, we're going to go to File, New, and make a new canvas. I do mine 900 by 1200. You can do yours whatever, depending on the size of your book. Click OK. Once you've got that, you're going to go to your Paint Bucket tool have foreground colour selected to black and paint the background layer black here we're now going to go layer, new, new layer click OK select your elliptical marquee tool and holding shift drag it from the top left hand corner and make a nice big circle on your page that will be our starting um, orb we're going to uh, now go to the paint bucket tool again foreground colour a colour slightly lighter than black so a dark grey click OK and paint it uh, dark grey now we're going to add some layer styles. Pay careful attention because these layer styles, there's lots of them and they can get confusing. So double click on your layer, you'll bring up the layer styles option. We're going to go straight to bevel and emboss. Tick it and then click on it and set the set the settings to 270 for depth. Direction up, size 80. Tick the gradient box and click on it. I'm going to set my gradient to a nice um, black to red, I'm going to double click on this marker here select a nice dark red then click OK click OK again, we're going to select the style to angle and the scale to 70 ok once you've got that click OK we're now going to duplicate the layer by dragging it onto this button here deleting the layer style on our duplicated layer by dragging the effects icon onto the dustbin and that will give us a brand new um, circle to work with again. We're now going to um, hit Command T to transform it, hold Shift and scale it down so it is smaller than the previous circle. You want to, um, once you've got it the right size, apply it and you want it to fit inside your previous circle, making sure you can still see the gradient, okay? Once you do that, we're going to apply these layer styles. So double click on your layer 1 copy and it will bring you up this box again, we're going to go straight to inner shadow change the um, the choke to 17 we want the distance at 0 and the size at 40 once you've done that um, we're going to go to outer glow change the colour to black click OK opacity 100 we want the spread at 10 and the size at 20 we want the contour set to this one here once you've done that click OK we want to duplicate the layer again so drag it onto this button again once we've got copy 2 we want to get rid of the effects for this layer so drag the FX icon onto the dustbin that will remove the effects now we want to transform it and make it slightly smaller we don't want it as small as we made the last one however OK and we're also going to uh, change its colour to black just so we can see easier, so set foreground colour to black hit OK and use the paint bucket tool to make the circle black once you've done that you want to double click on the layer bring up your layer style box again you want to make sure you have inner glow selected you next want to move on to outer glow and we're going to change some settings we want to change it to black as always hit OK we want the opacity at 100 we want the spread at 40 and we want the size at 10 the contour can remain the same but the range is going to be changed to 55 once we've got that we're going to go to bevel and emboss we're going to change the depth to 130 we're going to change the size to 200 uh, soften at 0 and the last thing we're going to change is this colour here we want to make it a slightly darker grey just so it looks more subtle, the shadow looks a bit better click OK once you've got your right colour and click OK again now we're going to duplicate the layer again once you've got that we're going to um, remove the effects once more now we're going to set the layer size to 60% of its original size we do that by hitting Command T and in the boxes up here we're going to enter 60 for width and 60 for height we're going to double click on the layer to open up the layer styles box and we're going to apply the following layer styles we want a drop shadow with the following settings opacity 100, 
blend mode multiply distance 0 spread 45 and size 20 we want the contour set to this one here once we've done that we're going to move to outer glow click on it change the outer glow color to black as we've done for the past twi two times we're going to make sure the blend mode is screen opacity is 100 percent we're going to change the spread to 40 percent and the size to 10 pixels the, the range can go to 55 once you've done that we're going to go to bevel and emboss click on it change it to the following settings depth 130 we want the size at 200 pixels and we can keep the rest the same except for this color here which we're going to change to a, a light gray again so the same color as the previous time we did it click OK and now we're going to go to gradient overlay I'm going to click on it change the gradient to whatever you want to whatever color suits you I'm going to do mine a dark blue to black so we're going to double click here change it to blue make it a nice dark blue and make this side black click OK OK again once we've done that we want the angle at zero and the style at angle OK that's looking good we can also change the scale to 103 the last thing we're going to do is add a stroke and the stroke can remain the same except for we want the position on the inside uh, we want to change the colour to a, a much lighter grey uh, click OK and the size you can alter uh, depending on how you want it. I'm going to have mine on 8. I'm going to click OK. We're now going to merge all of these layers. You're going to go to your layers palette, click on the top layer, hold shift, click on the bottom layer, and then right hand click merge layers. Now that they've become one layer it will be nice and easy to transform them. We're going to duplicate this layer as many times as you want. I'm going to do it. I'm going to duplicate it four times. And we're going to change the first layer we're going to double click and change the opacity to 60% click OK now for the next layers we're going to hit command T and transform them to different sizes by holding shift and moving them about so just move them where you want click OK I mean you can alter these depending on where you want them to be, it's really not particular, it's just like your preference. Make a nice small one, click apply, and lastly come on T. Apply, I'm going to have that there, and I'm going to move this one just over here a bit. Alright, once we have them where you want them, you're going to make a new layer uh, click OK and drag it so it's above the big orb and below all the small orbs OK on this layer we're going to go to our rectangular marquee tool and we're going to drag it where you want the title of your novel to be so just drag it and now you've got selection we're going to fill it with black so foreground color black go to paint bucket tool click down and it will become black now what we're going to do is deselect hit command D or control D um, a final touch we're going to double click on this layer to bring up layer styles we're going to go to stroke we're going to make fill type a gradient and change the gradient to a three-way gradient like this one here double click on the outside colors and make them both black and the middle colour can be changed to white click OK and OK again we're going to make the angle we're going to make the angle zero and that that is finished for now lastly what we're going to do is go to your text tool um, change the font to any colour other than black I'm going to make mine white make a big text box and type in the title of your book or whatever I'm going to just type in um, advance Photoshop and that is how you make a that is how you make a cover for a book thank you for watching and remember to subscribe